So quick question, have you guys ever been sitting Indian style on the floor and you get up real fast and, and both feet are asleep? <laughs> I've never experienced that. I'm not, I'm not experiencing that right now. Um, when I was six years old, I, I wasn't really interested in girls yet. I wanted stuff. <laughs> now when you're a little kid, the gold mine for stuff is Toys R Us. <laughs> Remember how ape shit you'd go if your parents wanted to that parking lot? <laughs> Lose your mind. When I was six years old, my heart belonged to Toys R Us. <laughs> and that song, remember the song? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's many things in Toys R Us that I sing that I There we go, all right? <laughs> my God, lo lose your mind. What kind of evil wizards did Toys R Us employ to write a jingle with that kind of staying power? <laughs> right? I mean, I'm 35 years old. When I hear that song, I still want to go out and buy a toy. <laughs> I was obsessed, especially after Nickelodeon's toy run. Right? Nickelodeon had this contest where you sold your soul. <laughs> For five minutes in Toys R Us, and you can grab anything you want, anything, right? You guys, you guys remember that? Yeah. And they had a commercial. I don't know if you remember this. They had a commercial about the girl that won, and she's out in the parking lot, just surrounded by toys, and she's in the center. She's doing high fives with Jeffrey. <laughs> connection is between a talking giraffe and toys, but at six years old, I want an end. Toys, 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 toys. I would sit in front of our TV and every toy commercial that came on, I want that. I want that. You learn quick, though, that we don't live in a perfect world. No. When you're six years old, you learn about bargaining. You see, just begging for it, that's, that's not going to fly anymore. Mom, can we please go to Toys R Us? Please, please. No. <laughs> Man! So unfair! And that's defeat. Now, in my house, the only way to get to Toys R Us was through chores. Terrible, disgusting, dangerous, <laughs> sure. But I do it for Toys R Us. Every single time, clean up after the dog, do errands, clean up around the house. See, as long as you're doing shit for your family, you're building equity. <laughs> you're on your way. I went two weeks once, priming my mother, getting ready for that big push. And then, one Sunday morning, Hey, hey, Mom, before you say no, before you say no, just let me finish, okay? All right. I've been good. I've been pooper scoopering the backyard, helping you and Dad around the house. I, I, I built the new family car out in the driveway from the top down. I, I, I haven't killed my brother. Okay. Well... Now you promised you would let me finish, right? You let me finish? All right. See, they got this commercial on TV right now for the Return of the Jedi lightsaber. And no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You said you were gonna let me finish. You said you were gonna. This is Return of the Jedi. Remember we saw it last year in the movie. You said you said you liked it. Yeah. Me too. Well, see, all right. Toys R Us has this has this commercial right now where uh, the Return of the Jedi lightsaber is on sale, so it's cheap. And I figured that, that with a lightsaber, I could really help out even more around the house with chores. And, and, and even if you didn't want to go to McDonald's along the way, we don't have to go. <laughs> even though they got the Happy Meal this week, and it's, it's got the Lego helicopter, and it's the only one I don't have. We don't have to go to McDonald's. We can just go straight to Toys R Us. And, and, and there's that yarn place that's right next door. <laughs> so if you want to go to that, we can go to that too. But if you want to go to Toys R Us today, it's Sunday, so we have to go soon because they close at 5. <laughs> I had the whole thing mapped out. And there was no way she was going to know 
that Murray's yarn barn was closed on Sundays. <laughs> Exactly now, the next step was the jury was out. Remember asking your parents for shit and your parents turn away, you know? And you're waiting, you can still feel that, that tension. Because the chances are, are pretty low that you're gonna get what you want, right? You ask for a candy bar, an amusement park, or Toys R Us, they're probably gonna say no. But she turns back with a smile on her face. All right, Brendan, we'll go. But $10. That's the limit. Ten dollars will suffice. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> Walk down the hall, into your room, close the door, and flip the fuck out. Toys R Us! Toys R Us! Toys Ten dollars, kids! From bikes to trains to video games, it's the greatest fucking store there is. I want to grow up, because maybe if I did, we will be a Toys R Us kid. And you go, you go with money in your hand and those doors, remember the double doors, right? The doors open up. <laughs> and it was giant inside. Somehow bigger on the inside than on the outside. Right? And you get that blast of cold air in your face. High shine on the floor. Mile high ceilings when you went into Toys R Us at six years old with money in your hand, you were a god. <laughs> you know what? Let's take a walk through Toys R Us right now. Hey, here we go. Aisle one, party supplies. Superheroes on everything. Plates, cups, napkins, tablecloths. Superman flying in a big cake. And Wonder Woman lassoing the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> and over here we got aisle two, pool supplies. Everything's inflatable. Inflatable people, inflatable donuts, inflatable hippos, inflatable peanuts. And you had Whammo products too. Remember Whammo? My God. Slip and slide and the fun fountain. Everybody remember the fun fountain? Fun fountain went like this. Spray water all over the place, right? Then up near the ceiling, you had, you had pools and slides somehow suspended in midair. My God, how did they do that? That's a Toys R Us miracle. That's it. <laughs> Next aisle, board games, right? Parker Brothers. Milton Bradley, Candyland, Chutes and Ladders, Connect Four, Trouble, Sorry, Mr. Mouth, Life, Monopoly, Twister, Ouija. <laughs> Remember that mysterious box? <laughs> Walk past that one, right? You had, the, you had two faces coming out of the darkness, brown board underneath, weird sun, evil moon, and my mom would move me along. There would be no commuting. <laughs> What's the next style? Ah, oh, next style is bikes. Bikes, the bike aisle. You guys remember the bike aisle? Remember the smell of rubber? The smell of new rubber, right? And what do we got here? We got, we got, all right, we got BMX, we got Schwinn, we got Mongoose, we got Huffy. Now, I had a bike, so there was no way I was going to get another bike, and I only had $10, but I could still dream. Now, dirt bikes were all the rage in the 80s. Dirt bikes, man. Remember the dirt bikes? Remember the, the grips on the handlebars? You squeeze it too tight, get the indentation on your hand, right? <laughs> hand brakes, and you had, um, sometimes there wouldn't even be spokes, right? There would just be that white plate right in the middle of the wheel. <laughs> Checkerboard seats, that weird foam tube around the middle bar. <laughs> and the kids riding dirt bikes in the 80s, I mean, they'd be driving Camaros and Firebirds a few years later. <laughs> what's the next aisle? Oh no, the next aisle's the pink aisle. Guys, what's the pink aisle in Toys R Us? Ah, uh, Barbie! Barbie! Why do we even have the pink eye? Why do we even need it? You know, it's like Lima Beans or, or the Thornbirds miniseries. <laughs> like, My Little Pony, Shira, Snorks. What the fuck is a snork? <laughs> Weird underwater smurfs, and instead of the white hat, they got the thing that shoots up, that shoots up the shit. And get it. Every six-year-old man's worst nightmare: somehow getting caught in the Barbie aisle of Toys R Us. <laughs> terrible, terrible space. Space. On the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, bow and behold. The Star Wars Isle. <laughs> Brendan. Vader. 
young Jedi. <laughs> your training is now complete. <laughs> now command your mother to buy you a lightsaber. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Think of it. Duels with Mike Green after school. Practice alone in my room with the lights off. And the commercial said, glows and shines just like a real lightsaber. <laughs> with a flick of the wrist, you are fighting for the rebellion. <laughs> Savers? The worst thing you can see in Toys R Us is the back wall of an empty rack. And my mom walked over and she pulled the tag from the pole and she read, Sorry kids, this item sold out. What? Attention all customers, Toys R Us will be closing in five minutes. Uh uh. Nah, nah, see, I do what I was supposed to do. I got the money, I got the ride. Darth Vader, you bastard! Where the hell's my lightsaber? My mom says, hey, don't worry about it. We'll come back. You'll get the lifesaver. Lifesaver! <laughs> don't make a scene. Look, let's go over to Murray's yarn barn before they close. Uh-uh. No, see, this will not stand. And she, she thinks we're coming back, but I'm not going to see the inside of Toys R Us until I'm 45. When you get a Toys R Us, you get a toy. That's the Toys R Us promise. <laughs> so I grew desperate. Wild. <laughs> I need a toy. I'm here. Hey, toy. There. There. Next to the empty rack of lightsabers, a full rack of Gonad sword from the future. <laughs> Gonad was a fake Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Long hair, fuzzy shorts. A freedom fighter from the distant future. And for some reason, his sword was on fire. Actually, I know the exact reason why his sword glowed. It was a fake lightsaber. It was brand X. It was a ploy. It was just Toys R Us's way of getting you to buy their lightsaber instead of George Lucas's. But with only a few minutes until the end of the world, <laughs> that's the toy I bought. And it was obvious from the start that Gonad sword didn't have the force. <laughs> I mean, the glow was gone that night. The whole thing bent in half the following weekend during a lightsaber duel with a big tree out in my backyard. <laughs> I now knew Toys R Us for what it was, a harsh mistress. I should have listened to my mother. I could have had it all. And now, for the first time in my young life, I knew heartbreak. <laughs> So I ask that you, you, all of you, learn from my terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> Have patience. Not all stuff is good. <laughs> the good things mutually come to those who wait.